Hey everyone, I'm Tony Bahu and I'm helping to raise money for the American Cancer Society during the Real Men Wear Pink campaign. From today until uh, the end of October, my goal is to raise at least $2,500, but I know with your support, we can well do over that. Uh, during the month of October, I'll be wearing either a pink shirt, a pink tie, or pink socks just to raise awareness in the fight against breast cancer. People ask, why did I get involved in the Real Men Wear Pink campaign when I haven't been directly affected? Well, the next few minutes you'll hear some stories from some remarkable ladies whether they were affected directly or as caregivers in their fight against breast cancer. I'm Burgess Jackson. Angie Smith Brewer. I'm Cora Beth Hartfield. My sister Maid and I were caregivers to my mother Sherry Pierce Hartfield. I was diagnosed in 2010 and it reoccurred in 2014. To hear that I have breast cancer, I was 38 years old and it was two days before I left to go on a cruise to celebrate my one year wedding anniversary. The doctor immediately knew that something was not right and sent her to a local surgeon, Dr. Philip Lay here in Jackson. Um, mother was immediately diagnosed with uh, inflammatory breast cancer, a rare type of breast cancer, very aggressive. It's known as the silent killer. I had been regular having mammograms every year since I was probably 45 because my mother had had it. News that I never thought I would hear in my life. Start staging at a three if you're lucky and for mother it, it was a four. And they said there was something suspicious when I had the mammogram then they called me back in the office and he said it looks like it's breast cancer. Because I always thought breast cancer was normally for those older women or it was you know, my mom's friends or grandparents' age. Mother had had a mammogram just eight months prior and this did not show up in a mammogram and she did not have a lump. It was like not able to see light at the end of the tunnel. We learned that less than 6% of women that have breast cancer are diagnosed with this type. No one in my family has ever had breast cancer. My mom, my sister, my aunts, grandmothers, no one in my family has ever had it. How could this be? Why me? My life is over. I felt hopeless. Scared. We even planned her funeral, <laughs> not knowing, you know, what the future would hold. Because my mother had passed away with it, I thought this is the end. And we went ahead and scheduled a um, double mastectomy only because I unfortunately tested positive for the BRCA gene, which is the genetic um, hereditary disease. Fortunately, thanks to God, a mother lived a total of five and a half years under 16 different chemotherapy treatments. And then I had to have uh, surgery. I decided to have a double mastectomy and total reconstruction. I knew with God, um, he wouldn't give me too much I can't handle um, with prayers and with you know the right team of doctors and family support that I can get through anything. My friends and my husband, uh, family, uh, thank goodness for them. I, I don't see how people cope when they're alone because you definitely need certain people and certain people you don't want to be bothered with. It takes a village. I, I'm always saying that with your family, your team of doctors, those doctors um, will become like family. They'll become your best friend. I was a direct caregiver in her life probably the majority of the time. There are many caregivers in this process and um, you, you meet those people along the way and you're just so thankful. Then when I found American Cancer Society, I felt wow they you know they are here to help me i think they're awesome i think uh the support group there the recommendations uh, the people um just tremendous support and that's really what that's what gets you through it uh, the american cancer society had a program called look good feel better and it taught mother how to put her makeup on um, and it encouraged her to have the attitude that chemotherapy can really take a lot out of you. Um, she lost her eyebrows, her eyelashes, her hair, uh, and that program actually taught her how to look good and feel better. They are a community that's there to offer hope and to help you see light at the end of the tunnel. Well, these guys are awesome to, to help out. And that's why I'm asking you to support Tony and his real men wear pink. 100% support them, uh, to support, it's a chain reaction um, and they're helping and when you help, it just it spreads it out. And just encourage 
uh, all of you to participate in the Real Men Wear Pink campaign and to donate to this campaign. Uh, the proceeds go to the American Cancer Society. Help him help your men and women in your life, in your community, to um, raise awareness about breast cancer and allow these people in your community to um, utilize these free services that American Cancer Society offers. So there you have it from Burgess, Angie, and Cora Beth. Three women who represent hundreds of thousands who are fighting against breast cancer today in the U.S. Please give what you can, whether it's $10 or $100, it doesn't matter. Uh, the link is below in our comment section. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and how you can get involved in the Real Men Wear Pink campaign. I'll see you soon and I thank you for your support.